big bass. guys and welcome back to the channel it's me slightly sweaty and damp bass man hello joining me today is nobody well birdman might come up for a coffee or something later on so yes I'm up the Yelm it's flooded out guys the water is like chocolate chocolate I know for a fact the only thing I'm gonna catch in here today up this river is either a big bass or a big conga. Yes, bass or conga. This is a really good time to target these species when it's flooded out. You know, the big bass, they don't mind a bit of fresh water. They'll be up here searching for food. Um, you know, there's some codlin will be up here soon. They don't mind the dirty water. I mean, look at the channel. Uh, so yes, tactics today, guys. I've got the big gear. So I've got the naga rod and I've got the new zoominator. So it'd be nice to put a nice bend in that. Um, we were out the other night with Wingman and I was catching eels all night, but you know, tiny eels. And luckily, uh, Wingman got one right at the end there, 13 pound, you know, nice eel. But there's bigger eels about than that, guys. I want a 20 plus. In fact, forget the 20 plus. This is my conga campaign I'm starting right now with you today. And I want a 40 pound eel this this winter, 40 pound conga. That is my goal, guys. Wish me luck. Um, my PB is a modest 30 pounds and two ounces. So it's another 10 pound on top of that. I've caught loads of 20s, you know, and loads of doubles, but I want a big eel. And last year I lost, was it last year or the year before I lost something special? Not very far away from here. So I know that there's big fish up this river. I've been told there isn't, but I won't listen to that because I know what I know. Thank you very much. So yes, guys, welcome along. It's raining. I've got the square back umbrella, courtesy of Chris with a K. So yeah, Chris has donated me his brolly. He's got a nice bivy one now. So yes, bait today, guys, it's gonna be little frozen mackerel and squid. And I'm just gonna use a circle hook because the other night I did really well on circle hooks. So I'm not gonna mess about with J hooks anymore. I'm gonna stick with the circles and see how I get on. I've got a feeling it's, it's gonna be a winner. So welcome along guys, we are rolling. Stick with it. I don't know what I'm gonna be able to do here today. Um, but yeah, there's a light wind. What can go wrong guys? It's me bass man. Let's go fishing. the circles guys yes the circle a nice knotless knot there for the uh, presentation will always find its mark cool is that that's the knotless knot so if I'd have rigged that just straight because it's a bent eye it wouldn't hang properly it wouldn't it wouldn't be the right presentation so that is perfect just comes up turns every time catches my hand sir let's get this rigged up and get out there man there it is that's the rig 10 0 circle five ounce weight to a weak link running ledger. 15 pound line there. No zip slider. Right, 
Rain's getting heavier, guys. Take number two. Mackerel and squid. Tide's just turning, guys. So it begins. Yes, here we are, under my umbrella, Ella, Ella. All I can say is thank God for the brolly because it is miserable, guys. Yes, specimen hunting. You gotta be a bit patient when you're, when you're going for big stuff, like a big bass or a big eel. Don't have the mindset that you're gonna go out and get one. You know, it's like, you just gotta keep going and keep going until you get one. And you know if you keep going, you will get one. So it's all about perseverance, but also there's a lot of small eels in the system now, which never used to be a big problem. Uh, yeah, so you've kind of got to get through the small stuff to, 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 to find the prince, you know, the prince eel. I've been up here before in these conditions and I've been really surprised. There is eels, there are eels up here and big bass. So we'll see what happens. Fingers crossed. I'm going to stick with the circle hooks, guys. I had a comment from a, a really nice guy. Um, you know, all information is good. Like, we don't know everything about everything. We're always learning as anglers. I learn something every day. If I don't learn something when I go fishing, you know, I don't really think I've achieved much. So I, I like to think about what I'm doing. So the circle hooks, he said that they don't work because the eels reverse instead of going, taking your bait and going forward. It's a very good point, my friend. They do reverse when they get the bait. However, the other night I had 10 eels hooked perfectly on the circle out here, 10. I had one deep hooked eel and that was a different pattern. I used a sort of smaller pattern, but it was a stronger hook. So I don't really get that the circle hook doesn't work because it's already worked. But yes, it's early days. I'll, I'll eat my words if, it's, if it turns out to be no good. But just think about it. You know, the, it eats the bait. It's just through the mackerel's head, the hook. And as soon as it turns, even if it's reversing, they don't reverse straight, all right? Eels, they don't just reverse. They have to do this with their tail to reverse. So that means the head is gonna do this as well while they're reversing. So they're gonna get that hook if they're going forward or if they're going backwards and turning, they're gonna get that circle. So that's what I'm out to prove, guys. Lovely sound, the Canada geese all coming over. Yes, yeah, so I did bring the other, the small all-rounder rod. I was gonna stick a pop-up rig out with a, with a prawn on it, but the water is just so brown. I don't think I'll bother. Just stick with the smelly baits. Yes, the geese. So all I'm looking for here is a nice slow bite. Nice slow pull down, come on. Tide's flooding. The water should clear up a bit later. Well, that last bait came back stripped, just a bare hook. So I'm gonna try this way now. Jamming it out the side of the mackerel, the circle, with a bit of squid off the end. I just had a bite there on the right hand rod. But it looks to me like a small eel. Just a rattly bite. Damn it, missed that one. 
Come on. A big bass. Big bass. Big bass. Oh, my God. Oh, my. God. Oh my god, look at the size of that. Oh my god, guys, guys, what did I tell you? What did I tell you, guys? Big bass. Big congas pinned in the circle, pinned in the circle. Look, whoa, what a fish! Come on, hurry up, bird man! And that is pinned right through, right through there, never getting off. What a fish. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness, guys. I don't know what to say. Eight pound bass. Oh my goodness, shaking so much. Come on, man. <laughs> Just in time, mate. I'm shaking like a shitting dog here. Huh? Eight plus, mate. You're just in time to take the photos. So I don't really want to kill it. No, no. God, no. I just, I've just brought her in, mate. Mate. God, this one's bigger than eight. Yeah. That's my mackerel. Yeah. It's what we shared it. Oh, you, I, I didn't say it was from you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, huh? Got your scales? Yeah. Right, should I hold her in the water? And um, she's on a circle hook. Brilliant. Yeah, I love them. Right, so I'm going to get the pictures first. Yeah, that's, that's right. Really you just, will you take over, mate? Yeah, you're shaking. Then I'll move on here. Yeah, I'm shaking too much, really. Oh, hell of a scrap. Just, oh. went, just went over and that's, just pinned in the circle hook, mate. Best fish of the year. Oh, definitely. Hang on, mate. That might go double. It might. No, it ain't a double, mate. It's, 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 it might. Nah. It's a good eight. I've caught plenty of doubles, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see. Now she ain't, she ain't, she ain't long enough for a ten. She's probably an eight. She's stocky. She's very stocky. She's very strong as well. All right, hang on, hang on. Sorry about this, guys. Let's just give her. I need, a, I need to give her a drink, mate. I'll no, do it. I'll do it. I'll no, do but it. I don't want to lose the fish. No, I know. She's on that. That's a she good, is on the circle, good, but anything can happen. That's nice, look at that, that's a fat one, isn't it? And how do I use the old one? This way, isn't it? Right, well, I'm having a job holding this fish. It is that big. Ah! Right. There we are, guys. 
Yes, the bass man. Hey, what about that bird man? Not bad. I, I was praying you'd turn up, mate. How about that for timing? Eight, let's see. I'm gonna go, she's fat, mate. I know. I'm gonna go eight and a half. Okay. Look, 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 look. I know, I know. Come on, darling. And the circle, look, pinned my circle experiment. Best fish of the year. That's all I use, sir. She was never getting off. All mate. I use, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. That's a bar, isn't it? Oh. Best fish of the year. Best fish of the year by far, mate. And I was there. With Urea. Oh. Well right. done, Paul. Right. Let's weigh her, shall we? Yeah. Look at that, no, actually, look. That is big. It's, yeah. That's got to be nine, isn't it? Well, let's just find out. We're all guessing. Right, okay. Gone. Brilliant, mate. Well done. Fucking well I'm done. I'm glad you were here, mate. <laughs> Nine pound. I am. Right, guys. Well, in our in John's um, what's the word? Haste. Excitement. We haven't got the fish going back, and I promise you, on my daughter's life, that it's gone back. All right, it's not here. Didn't it, John? Absolutely, yeah. Because we yeah. couldn't keep that fish, and we it's just a such a shame that we. I've got two minutes of it, reviving it and it all going off and we're all yes and lovely and so really sorry about that. That's just one of those things guys, but I swear to you that the fish went back. I promise you, it's not here, is it? No, we're in the bushes or anything like that. And uh, John wouldn't let me keep it anyway, would you? No. Because that <laughs> fish is like nine pound, mate. So yes, it did go back guys, I promise. I don't know, what's that sir? Flat. This is a, a Birdman BLT. This is a nice pita bread, bacon, tomato, lettuce. Bacon, lettuce, and tomato, sorry, that's right, isn't it? BLT. Yep. And a nice coffee and a nine pound bass, sir. Uh. That is one sexy lure, John. Wow. Very realistic, sir. Great. It's Italian. R-A-I-S. R-A-I-S. Oh, it just looks like a fish, doesn't it? Yeah. It's beautiful. It'd be nice to see a nine pound bass on that, wouldn't it? Bending you in half. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not jealous, not at all. No. So, just saw it swim off. Mate, that was the best bit watching it oh, go back, yeah. wasn't it? And it went off so slowly and elegantly. Yeah. Never mind. But what a fish. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Fish of the year, I think. Yeah, I feel privileged to have been there, actually, mate. I'm, no, I'm glad you were there, I mate. I say, I really do. Yeah, you were surprised when you saw it, didn't you? Yeah. I wish I'd have got, I might have got that on GoPro. You were going, Jesus, <laughs> Jesus, look at the size of that from up there. And I was like, I've just got it, just got it. Yeah. Red letter day. Well, yeah. And you had a BLT from me as well. And a BLT pocket, which yeah. I didn't appreciate because no, I was so, actually, that's right. I was so on, high on normally, adrenaline. Normally, normally the food's like quite high, oh, isn't it? Yeah. Who gives a damn about a BLT <laughs> and a coffee with some, after, some sugar? After a nine pound after beauty. A nine pound bass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. I'm really surprised I haven't had any big eels, John. No, I'm, I don't care either. I'm on my last bait here now. So I'm going to have to get out of here soon or we'll be uh, up to our neck in it. Massive tide. There we are, guys. That's about it for me today. Nine pound two, John. Stunning. Nine pound tickety boo. Nine pound two. So yeah, it's a very special fish, that guys. Thanks very much for watching. When you catch a big bass like that, it stays with you, doesn't it, John? Absolutely. You know, for years. And, well, and, I, I won't forget it. And, and you caught it. He came just at the right time. It was brilliant. He was looking down, going, "Geez, look at the size of that." And I'm like, "Yeah, I've just caught it, man." Yeah. So we didn't get a couple of clips there, guys. But hey, who cares? 
it was all a, a bit sort of you know exciting wasn't it at the time it was, at the moment it was all a bit frantic yeah, I mean, and it's all very wet and desperate you know, to get it back second. as well but guys i've had look i've had five doubles like, i've done the bass for so long five double fish five doubles from the shore i'm not showing off five doubles from the shore enough that's probably my probably my seventh or eighth nine pounder ever right so it's a very special fish you don't get those every day do you mate no nope. so yeah i really enjoyed that you know maybe i'll do a bit more bassing in future we'll see but i did say to you at the beginning of the show folks guaranteed big bass or big conger right so we got the big bass didn't we that's we ticked that box right and they're not up here all the time it's all about conditions guys yeah so it's absolutely horrible today you know it hasn't stopped raining, has it, John? No. Nope. No, and thanks very much for the uh, pocket. The Sorry, I couldn't eat it. I'm just sorry. It, it pales into insignificance, is I the just, phrase. Yeah. I, I get a bit carried away, John. You know, when I've you seen how I was, I get a bit carried away, and it, it takes me half an hour to calm down, and then I feel sick. But just that's, that's how fishing makes me feel, you know? And if yeah. it doesn't make you feel like that, then maybe you should play golf or something. Yeah. You know? So, yeah, cheers, guys. Give us a like, give us a like at least, right? And give us a subscribe. It's just there, right, on the TV, right? So subscribe there, like there, little comment. Yes, the bass man. That's all I'm asking, right? Every comment you give, the algorithm goes as a little like, um, ooh, ooh. Let's put that out to a few more people if they comment. So any comments are grateful. So thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Head on over to my rig shop, fishingguysdevon.co.uk forward slash shop. If you want to be in the draw for the continental bass rod, sir, head over to there. Place any order. You're in the hat in a month's time. So tight lines, guys. Thank you very much, John. Yes, the nine pounder.